You've seen them. I mean, they're everywhere, yet how can you not see them? Walking in their slow paced, migrating to Florida, that silver lining on top, the hunched over bodies, the glare in their eyes, the, those fruit buffets at, at noon, the discount tickets they get all the time, the huge Buicks they drive. I'm talking about old people. I mean, old people are everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere, and, and it wouldn't be a big deal if old people just behaved like normal society, but I think there's a certain age that you get when, I don't know when it is, but at a certain age on that birthday, you decide that you are an old person and you have to act a certain way. So, you know, I'm just here ranting about different things that I see in the old community, and uh, I mean, maybe maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about. Number one is the old person that just doesn't give you any verbal contact, like at work. I work at a member service counter, and I am here to provide service to members, and I have to have communication. You know, when, when people talk, it's like, person A says, hey, how are you? I would like a hug. Person B is like, oh, you requested a hug? I'll give you a hug, and then they embrace each other. See, old people don't do that. Old people expect you to read their minds, so the old man just like, hurtled over in his walker towards you and he expects you to know what what to do like he just does this hurls over and is like pointed at me were you admiring my extreme physique um there's something on my skin and then i just stand there and i look at him and he's like well where's the coupon book see all you had to do was just ask for you. Okay, what is it? Time to just like, give a point at it. So, and then there's the old people that um shake their head. Like, you've had the ones that just shake their head. Like, you walk by, they're like... I'm like, what? Why are you shaking your head at me? Did I ask you, are your teeth real? Yeah. I love my grandpa to death, but... He does one of the old people traits where he shakes your hand and doesn't let it go. You're like, oh, hey, Grandpa, how you doing? Shake, shake, shakes like... Awkward! You know, I wonder, you know, how it was on his first date. <laughs> like, the kiss, like, he didn't know when to end it, so it's just like... Well, frozen yogurt was good. Yeah, you gotta know when to draw the limit. And what about the ones who take, like, five minutes to turn when you're behind them? I mean, you're at this light, and you're turning, and you have, like, you know, cars trying to get through, and the old person just takes, like, forever to take the right turn. It's like... One day we'll get there. One day we'll get there. And I don't even want to know that you have sex, and I think it's pretty gross to picture your old saggy skin meshing, so... The old people that talk about that stuff, oh, keep your relations to yourself. That's nasty, and we really don't want to picture two slugs. Gotta go throw up, I'll be right back. P. Paul Jones, when I'm at the urinal going to the bathroom, please don't talk to me. It's kind of awkward when you're standing there next to me, trying to have a conversation while I'm trying to pee. I mean, this is like, you know, a one-man show. I don't want any involvement from third parties while I'm trying to go to the bathroom, you know? It's, you know, you gotta keep your eye on the road. Don't look over at me and start having a conversation about the weather because I'm like, it's kind of weird and it gives me a little bit of stage fright. When I was 16, I had to go to school to learn how to drive. Um, I think there should be a test for elderly people in motorized carts because they're the most dangerous thing in the grocery store. I've nearly been decapitated from them in a line of Kroger. And they, they never can back up. I mean, old people never know how to back up in those carts. It's like, and they end up like running into you and, oh, old people are terrible in those motorized carts. It's dangerous. They need to go to class for that kind of thing or wear helmets or have their own HOV lane in the grocery store. Then again, they really wouldn't get anywhere because it takes them 10 minutes to make the right turn. So I don't want any hate mail or anything. I do love old people. I think old people are great. Um, I like my grandparents. I love my grandparents. Um, it's just, you know, we have to be aware. We have to be aware of this, um, this occurrence in our society. We have to do something to stop it. And, you know, if that means that we put a curfew on the old folk and they can only be out till 3 p.m., then, I mean, so be it. But nonetheless, we love our old, old people in the world, and uh, we wouldn't be anywhere without them. And a uh, little fortune, a little fortune would not have survived without them, so we had that to thank them for. 
And with that, I guess I will be seeing you.